What is up everybody? If you that don't know me, my name is Mr. Grow It, and today I've got a topic video for you. Today I'm going to talk about my picks for the best LED grow lights on Amazon here in 2018. Uh, lately I've been getting flooded with questions that relate to lighting, and some people are really lost when it comes to lighting for cannabis plants. So I figured I'd make a video telling you what my picks are for the best LED grow lights here in late March, about to be April, 2018. Keep in mind that LED grow light technology is improving at a rapid rate. It seems like every year, even every six months, that newer, better technology is coming onto the market. Things I look for in a grow light in order for it to make this list are quality diodes, efficient drivers, warranty, spectrum, PAR, and efficiency. I do not factor in Amazon reviews. In fact, some of the lights I'm about to mention have zero Amazon reviews. The reason why I don't factor in Amazon reviews is mainly because most of the highly reviewed grow lights with high star reviews are from people growing plants such as lettuce and tomatoes. You can grow cannabis with some of those grow lights, but they're really better suited for growing vegetables instead of cannabis. I've had several people contact me in the past asking me why their grow light from Amazon isn't producing big buds, and oftentimes it's because they purchased an LED light that just doesn't give cannabis plants enough intensity. The lights I'm about to mention are in no specific order, but I have broken them down by coverage area. So we're going to go over a 2x2 two two coverage area, a 3x3, three a 4x4, three, a four four, and a 5x5. Five five. Links to all the grow lights mentioned in this video will be in the description section below. I'll put Amazon links down there, and I'll also put LED grow light depot links as well. Now let's get into the lights, starting with a 2x2 two foot, two foot coverage area. First one up is the Nextlight Mini LED Grow Light. Uh, this is one of the most efficient grow lights on the market today. It's a 400 watt HPS replacement that has an actual output of only 150 watts. It covers a three foot by three foot area for plants in the vegetation stage and a two foot by two foot area for plants in flowering. The unit gives off very little heat, which makes it perfect for small tents or any space where venting and or air conditioning is an issue. It is American made and is a full spectrum bright white LED product. It's designed to match the spectrum of the sun, and the bright white light that this grow light produces makes seeing your canopy much easier. It has a 100,000 hour life rating, and it comes with a 5 year full manufacturer warranty. Next up is the Johnson CX4 LED grow light. Um, this uses 4 top bin Citizen CLU048 300K LES chips. Uh, this makes this LED grow light very efficient and it produces significantly less heat than other LED grow lights fit for a 2 foot by 2 foot grow space. The recommended coverage area is 3 foot by 3 foot for vegetation and a 2 foot by 2 foot for flowering. Uh, it's a 400 watt HPS replacement and draws only 230 watts from the wall. This grow light is also designed to mimic the sun and it produces an even light spread across the grow space. It can also be daisy chained together with 600 units to cover a larger area and it comes with a 3 year full manufacturer warranty. Next up is the Viper Spectra 300 watt LED grow light. Viper Spectra LED is more for beginners, maybe somebody who's just getting into LEDs. And also for those of you that are on a budget, um, this would be kind of an introductory LED grow light. Um, this particular light is Amazon's choice in the indoor grow lights category. It is a full spectrum grow light. It's comparable to a 250 watt HID light, but it only consumes 136 watts from the wall. It's best suited for a 2x2 two two grow space for plants of veg and a 1.5x1.5 one one grow space for plants in the flowering stage. It has a lifespan of 100,000 hours. It comes with a 3-year warranty along with a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. And in the box, this unit comes with a hanging kit and a 6-inch power cord. Moving on to lights for a 3 foot by 3 foot grow space. Viper Spectre PAR 600 LED grow light. Again, Viper Spectre, good introductory light. This one uses 120 high intensity 5 watt Bridge Lux and Epileds LED chips with secondary lenses. It's a full spectrum grow light that has three switches so the spectrum can be adjusted. The recommended coverage area is a 4 foot by 4 foot for vegetation and a 3 foot by 3 foot for flowering. It is a 600 watt HPS replacement and draws only 285 watts from the wall. It has a lifespan of 100,000 hours, comes with a 3 year warranty and a 30 day satisfaction guarantee. Included in the box is a hang kit, adjustable light ratchets, and a 6 foot power cord. Next is the California Lightworks Solar System 275. It's a full spectrum LED grow light that uses top bin Osram diodes. The spectrum is fully customizable with the controller uh, that can be purchased with the light or separate. The controller allows you to not only set the light spectrum, but also allows you to set various modes such as sunrise, sunset, spring, summer, fall, dark period, and final finishing modes. The recommended coverage area is 5x5 for vegetation and 3x3 for flowering. It's a 400 watt HPS replacement and draws only 200 watts from the wall. And it can be daisy chained with up to a thousand fixtures. 
The Solar System 275 is made in the USA and has a lifespan of 50,000 hours. Included with the unit on this listing is a controller, a six foot power cord, and a communications cable. It also comes with a five year limited warranty. Next up, Horticultural Lighting Group HLG300 LED Grow Light. Uh, this one uses 576 top bin Samsung 561C diodes. It's a simple, lightweight fixture, and it's currently the most efficient LED grow light for a 3 foot by 3 foot area. The unit has two custom-designed, high-efficiency white light 300K quantum boards uh, that are dimmable via a top-mounted meanwhile driver. The recommended coverage area is 4 foot by 4 foot for veg and a 3 foot by 3 foot for flowering. It is a 500 to 600 watt HPS replacement and draws only 120 to 285 watts from the wall. And that's going to depend on how you adjust the dimmer switch. Uh, the HLG300 is made in the USA and comes with a 120 volt power cord and a driver. It also comes with a three year warranty. Moving on to LED grow lights for a four foot by four foot grow space. If you're on a budget, Viper Spectre Dimmable Series PAR 1200 LED grow light. This light uses 238 high intensity 5 watt Bridge Lux and Epileds LED chips with secondary lenses. You have control over the light spectrum by the two channels, Veg and Bloom, and this unit has upgraded aluminum heat sinks compared to their older models. The recommended coverage area is 5 foot by 5 foot for Veg and a 4 foot by 4 foot for flowering. It is a 1000 watt HPS replacement and draws only 549 watts from the wall. The PAR 1200 is made in China and has a lifespan of 50,000 to 100,000 hours. It comes with a light hanger, 6 foot, 110 volt power cord, two adjustable yo-yo hangers, a three year warranty, and a 30 day satisfaction or return guarantee. Next up is the Unifarm UFO 320 LED grill light. This one uses Cree and Osram HO LEDs. Uh, this light has a switch for veg and also a switch for flower to help save you energy. The recommended coverage area is six and a half foot by 6.9 feet for veg and a 3.8 foot by 4.3 foot for flowering. It is a 1000 watt HPS replacement and draws only 725 watts from the wall. It's made in China and has a 50,000 hour light span. It comes with a light hanger, 120 volt power cord, and a three year warranty. Next is the California Lightworks Solar System 1100 LED grow light. This is the light I'm currently using and on my last series on YouTube, I did grow with this light. This light uses top bin Osram diodes as a fully programmable spectrum that you can control with the solar system controller. Uh, you can adjust three different channels, red, blue, white, as well as UVB and IR. Uh, the unit is daisy chainable, up to a thousand fixtures. The recommended coverage area is eight foot by eight foot for veg and a four foot by four foot for flowering. It is a 1000 watt HPS replacement and draws only 800 watts from the wall. It's made in the USA and has a 50,000 hour lifespan. It comes with a controller, communications cable, power cord, light hanger, LED grow room glasses if purchased on Amazon, and a five year limited warranty. Next up is the Johnson Grow Lights CX9 LED Grow Light. This one uses nine top bin Citizen CLU 048 300K LES chips. The diodes are ran in half of the maximum rate, which results in excellent power output and minimal color shift. Uh, Underdriving the diodes create a much more efficient light source with better color rendering. The lenses used on this unit are a mixture of proprietary 90 degree lenses and proprietary 120 degree lenses. Uh, the unit is daisy chainable up to two fixtures and the recommended coverage area is 4 foot by 4 foot. Uh, this LED grow light is a 1000 watt replacement and draws only 540 watts from the wall. It comes with a power cord and a 3 year full warranty. Next up is the Horticultural Lighting Group HLG550. This is a quantum board LED grow light. It uses 1,152 top bin Samsung LM561C S6 LED arrays. Uh, the custom designed white light results in high efficiency. This is one of the most efficient LED grow lights on the market today. The 300K full spectrum white light gives optimal canopy penetration and easy viewing. It has a passive cooled design, so no cooling fans are required. The driver is dimmable and the grow light can be dimmed down to 250 watts. The recommended coverage area is 6 foot by 6 foot for plants and veg and a 4.5 foot by 4.5 foot for flowering. It is a 1000 watt SE replacement and draws only 510 watts of full power from the wall. It's made in the USA and comes with a driver, light hanger, and a 3 year warranty. Moving on to LED grow lights for a 5 foot by 5 foot grow space. First up is the Spectrum King SK602 LED grow light. This uses full spectrum Cree diodes. It's the brightest greenhouse LED grow light worldwide. It has a rugged waterproof housing for use in wet and humid conditions and also safe for outdoor use. Uh, this grow light produces less heat than most competitors and saves over 43% on energy when compared to dual-ended 
1,000 to 1,200 watt HPS bulbs. It also has extra efficient reflective heat sinks to help lower overall ambient room temperature. The recommended coverage area is 8 foot by 8 foot for vegetation and 5 foot by 5 foot for flowering. It is a 1,000 watt HPS replacement and draws only 610 watts from the wall. It's made in the USA and has a lifespan of 100,000 hours. It comes with a 9 foot power cord, eye hooks to hang the light from, a 3 year warranty on light intensity, and a 5 year warranty on parts and labor. Next up, Nextlight Mega LED Grow Light. This one is similar to the Nextlight Mini LED Light that I spoke about earlier. This one has full spectrum bright white diodes, and the unit gives off 75% less heat than a traditional HPS light. It's a 1000 watt DE replacement that has an actual output of 650 watts. It covers a 7 foot by 7 foot area for plants in the vegetation stage and a 5 foot by 5 foot area for plants and flowering. It's made in the USA and has a 100,000 hour lifespan. And the grow light comes with two V hooks, one 120 volt power cord, one 240 volt power cord, and a five year full manufacturer warranty. Next up, Johnson Grow Lights Maximizer Air Cooled LED Grow Light. This one uses eight top bin Citizen COU048 300K LESs. It has a 80 plus color rendering index and contains multiple light sources, which promotes better penetration and more even light spread. Uh, the unit is air cooled, so the heat generated from the light can be easily exhausted from your grow environment. The recommended coverage area is 6 foot by 6 foot for veg and a 5 foot by 5 foot for flowering. It is a 1000 watt HPS replacement and draws only 630 watts around the wall. It's made in the USA, it comes with a power cord and a 3 year full warranty. Now there are a handful of quality lighting companies that do not sell their lights on Amazon, so that's why they aren't mentioned in this video. If there are any grow lights on Amazon that I didn't mention that you think I should have mentioned, let me know in the comment section below. If you do end up buying anything from the links below, thank you, it does help me out. And if you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to comment below. If you're new to growing cannabis, I wrote a book called 7 Steps to Grow Cannabis that will guide you through your first few grows. I will leave a link to the book in the description section below, or you can get to it by going to my website, mrgrow.com. That's pretty much it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it, please click that thumbs up button and I will leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, peace.